Hello everyone, this is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you are listening to Tejas. So in previous videos, we have seen that how to use Python to monitor stocks using Yahoo engine and to get email updates via Python. So in this videos, we are going to see how to use Python and a framework called Selenium for web automation. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So Selenium is basically a framework that is used for web automation and web testing in industries. So we are going to use the same framework to automate our web, web experiences. So to complete the objectives, we need three things. We need a good ID, we need a Selenium package itself and we need a web driver. So today just we are going to see a brief introduction about what Selenium can do. To download, now we have IDE already, we can use IDLE, we can use PyCharm and also we can use Spider. Now to download Selenium package, go to your prompt and type pip install selenium and s t i n s t a l l install now as i am using anaconda framework i will go with conda install selenium now now if you have already installed selenium then it will just give you the message that all the requested packages are already installed but for those who have not installed selenium they will get all the details about what packages it is installing what is the version of the selenium and where it is installing so we are done with the package installation now to check whether package is correctly installed or not we have to just import the package in the uh, id and we can see that we can get whether the package is installed or not so from selenium import web driver now if we don't get any error then we can see that we have successfully achieved our first objective now <clears throat> next and the final objective to get started with selenium is the web driver basically web driver acts as a bridge between the program and the browser which passes all the details all the data and all the requests to the browser and from the browser so to download a driver we need to go to chrome driver.chromium.org now each and every uh, browser is having its own driver i'll put up the links in the description about which uh, browser requires which driver and where can you get the driver so i'm going to go with the chrome browser and i need the chrome driver to work with it now you have to go to chrome driver.chromium.org slash downloads where you will get this driver now here according to the chrome version that you are using you have to download the driver now i am using chrome version 80 so i will go with chrome version 80 driver version 80 now here we will get three options of driver one is linux one is mac and one is windows now we have to go with windows as i am using windows those who are using mac can go with mac and those who are using linux can go with linux now once you download the uh, driver you will get a zip file I suggest you to keep the zip file in a separate folder that is uh, easily accessible now extract it and you will get a chrome driver dot exe moving to ID now we can get start with the selenium web automation so for any web control or web automation first we need to have the instance of that browser so to do that we have to create a variable called browser equals to web driver dot chrome and here we have to pass the path of that particular web driver we are having so now each each operating system has different directory structure so while passing the path of the web driver please keep that in mind also don't forget to pass the name of the driver with extension along with the path so when you click enter you will see here that a web browser has automatically opened up and it is saying that chrome is being controlled by an automated test software so that's for far more than enough for 
opening the browser and we have got this instance of the browser in the variable called browser lots of browsers here now <laughs> okay so uh, now to operate the browser we can use this browser variable throughout our process now to open a website we have to just type browser.get and in that get and single quotes we have to pass as less, uh, pass <coughs> the name of the website that we, we want to access so we'll go with the most familiar and most used website google.com so when you'll press enter you can see here that we have opened the google.com website here now basically each website consists of lot of html tags and the way we are using selenium to access different elements is with their properties like with the name of the element with the uh, class of the element with the links of the elements with the texts of the element and with the uh, id of the element so there are a lot of functionalities provided by selenium we are not going to go deeper into it now as we'll move further uh, with our projects and our uh, like different types of automation projects we can uh, get to know or get familiar with different type of approaches that selenium uses now to access the text bar that we are going to use to input some text here uh, or we are going to input our search keywords we need to understand that what are the properties and what tag is used for this text bar so when you will uh, i'll just maximize the browser and when you will right click and <coughs> inspect the text bar we can here see that the name of the text bar is q now uh, selenium provides a function called find element by name and where if that uh, particular element is having a unique name then we can use it for accessing or getting the instance of that particular element okay so going back to the id here we are just going to use the function find element by name as first we have to create a variable to store the instance of that variable element that is the search bar so i'm going to uh, write type the name of the element as lm and we are going to use the function browser browser dot find element element e l e m e n t element by name and in name we are going to pass the name of the element that is q and we'll press enter if everything is right then we won't get any error now to pass on the search keywords in this in the text bar we have a function called search send keys so to use that we have to just use the instance of that particular element and the function send underscore keys so in the keys we are just going to type whatever we want to search and when we'll press enter you can see here that we have all we have automatically obtained the search keywords in the browser now we have entered the text that is the search keywords in the search bar but we need to like uh, initiate the search from the google by pressing enter now selenium is having few packages which will help you to use the default keywords on our keyboard keys default keys on our keyboard which will initiate some actions like space bar enter tab etc etc so for now we are just going to go with enter keyword and to use enter key we have to uh, import a package called from selenium dot web driver dot common dot common dot keys import keys and i hope that's right uh, if that is right then i th don't think we'll get any error and yes it is right so now to use enter key what we have to do is we have to just use the instance of that element that is lm dot send keys same function again 
but here instead of passing that passing the text in single quote we are just going to go with keys dot enter now here the enter is that action key that is we are going to use here and keys is the class that we have imported from selenium.webdriver.com and dot keys so let's press enter and see what happens okay there is an error okay i misspelled the keys here and yes okay and now let's go for it yes and things have pretty well worked out here and we have seen that we have got the search result for tony stacks so this is uh, far more enough for today's video and this was just a brief introduction of how selenium works and what are different uh, simple operations that we can do with selenium so selenium is one of the best framework i think the best framework to use which is used for web automation and web testing and i'll just uh, put the simple uh, instructions codes uh, instruction codes and the web driver in my github repository don't forget to download it and uh, play with it uh, if you like my video then do share it and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for further videos so in further videos of web automation we are going to uh, like assign ourselves different tasks in each video and we are going to complete it using selenium we are going to try to be more creative with how we can use selenium and make our life tasks far more easier and funnier and enjoyable so keep watching the further videos too and keep innovating guys thank you